Hey guys, this is TJ Plays Now, and today we are back with another episode on the Picks and Sticks server. Today I'm just working on the canal, doing some amazing stuff. Um, a bit's changed on the server, but at the same time, not much has changed. And as you see, I have enabled that fog feature. Right now, we actually have our chunks turned down sort of low. We have it at 6. I love the way that the fog looks right now, though. Not gonna stay forever, don't worry, don't worry. And also, just... I'm just gonna kill you because you're in the way! Sorry. Sorry. I don't like doing that. But don't get in my way. And kill the cow too. Alright, so... A bit's been happening, I've been working on this beautiful canal right here. We gotta move those chests that are down there. We really need to. But, been working on the canal, getting the wood in place, getting the everything else in place. We have, um, four of these now, almost fully set up for, I guess you could call, call them boat docks. And then, you know, that's just gonna go down for a long time. Can't even see the end now. <laughs> I love the way that the fog just looks on this. It almost makes it look like that never ends. And... To be honest, we could probably turn our render distance back up to 10. It's still foggy, and you can, can't can see to the edge still, so I like it. I like it. It really just adds a little bit to the thing. I've also worked on this path over here. Now, not 100% sure if I'm completely sold with this just yet, but as you see, you saw it going down. Now, it looks completely just a little bit different going up. As you see, we have, like, that wall right there holding that wall back, sort of making it look terraformed. And if you can sort of tell, this is providing a light. I don't know why I said these. This is providing a light, but it's providing light and everything, and it really looks sort of cool. It's keeping that grass dirt just packed up. And we just have a very, very nice natural sort of flowing path going down. And I just love the way it, like, flows. It just feels like it goes with the land. Oof, beautiful, beautiful. And just been working out on this stuff. We've also done a little bit with our path that we have over there going to our town. Um, I've done a little bit of planning out, but we're not going to go look at that today. Although, I am going to grab some gravel for it here soon. And I'll, I'll take it over there. I guess we could show you guys today. But not much else has changed on the server. Ooh, actually, that's sort of false. I'm going to go ahead and... No, not yet, not yet. Because it takes a while to get there. But we also have a new member, and he is an amazing builder. I'm just going to walk around this way with my head down, so that way you can't see his house that is right here. Oh, I love the way that this little thing looks. It's 8-bit land, or... Um, the ocean, it's 8-bit ocean. He's an amazing builder. He, ooh, got an inner chest in here. That's amazing. Need one of these while I go. He's got tons of stuff. Um, I say tons of stuff, and then open two, two of, of his chests, and there's nothing in them. Oh. Uh, but he, he's getting stuff. This is just one of his little things. Then we have another thing over here, and I built the path leading to this, but he's built everything inside of it. This is amazing. A beautiful piece of work. This is his sort of, like, spawn, um, camp, if you will. Like a camp that he has things set up. He's got a fishing place, and I'll probably sell him a fishing bowl. Shh, don't and just a whole bunch of different things. We have some chests over here. I don't think any of them have anything in them. I love the way that this thing looks right here, though. It's like... Oh, perfect. Then we also have a little hut right here with a house. Or a little... Hut here with a house. What? A little house right here with a bed. Hut with a bed. I don't know what you want to call it. And... Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Sun's already setting again, so we're just going to run over to our bed. I have two beds right now, like, right next to each other. One's up there in the tower, and the other's down in front of the tower. So we'll just sleep in the one that's in front of the tower for now, but... Yeah, don't ask me why I did that. And... Oh, hold on, hold on, and sleep. Alright, 
So, besides that, I do believe we have a little bit more um, to cover. Ooh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Um, repaired all of my tools and whatnot. They were getting pretty far down, so I just headed over to the skeleton farm. I don't usually show the grindy stuff on camera or ever even talk about it. Because grindy stuff is grindy stuff, and no one likes talking about grindy stuff. But if we walk r down and around here, oof, I love the way that those trees look. I just love it. This big open field and then some trees, and this path is amazing. I need to fix those floating trees. I don't know who decided to chop them down and leave them. I really don't like that, but... We just follow this path and turn to the left. You can sort of see... Oof, look at that cart. Look at that. There is a broken down cart right here. I sort of just sat it here, and I'm like, hmm, we need to get a cart. It sort of works. This... I, I think that there's a better texture for uh, wheels. I don't want to do full-on cobblestone wheels. We do have jungle wood now, too, though, so I might go in and implement jungle wood instead. Then also, we have the nice wheat field, and someone decided to trample it, so I went ahead and fixed that up. And I know who that someone is, and we'll talk about that here in a minute or two. But then we have this little, like, thing next to the farm. This is called... Hold on. Name's coming to me. It's... It's like a horse thing, but there's no horses. Uh, I could really remember the name, but I just can't remember it. I don't know. And then straight across here, we have the one and only amazing path leading up to where our village may or may not be. The path doesn't actually reach all the way out there yet, and we'll have to be fixing that soon because this path really needs to go all the way out there, but hey. Okay. It is what it is for now, and I think that this first village is going to be medieval. I think the next thing I work on, and I want to actually, as soon as I get the foundation for this thing out, I want to jump over to the next thing already, because my inspiration's all over the place. I, I love doing all kinds of different things at the same time, and right now we're just traveling by foot the rest of the way. It's right over uh, around this side of the mountain. And we'll have a nice castle on the mountain, or around the mountain, in the mountain, through the mountain. I don't know what you want to say. But over here we have what is soon going to be um, filled in with gravel first thing. And it's going to be more of a circular shape, not all the way up to here and just cut off. It's going to be a circular shape, and there's going to be one or two houses on this pad. And then there will be a pad down here with the circular shape, with another house, probably a center central thing, and then another pad over there, and over there. Not super far over there, but, like, over, like, there. I don't know. Like, right here, in this area. Punching things as I go. But, that's how that's gonna go. So, um, I'm actually going to take out some of this gravel right here, and get it more of, in a circular shape. It's more oblique, it's oblong, I don't know what you want to call that. It's just a funny shape, so, um, don't want that there, though. And th that's how the houses here are going to be laid out. They're going to be on top of gravel pads, and I'm not sure 100% what I'm going to use for the houses. Oak, obviously. Um... Then, depending on what kind of tree we put um, over that way, I'm going to probably chop down most of this forest over here because I just dislike those trees so much. We might actually change those trees to be whatever kind of import or whatever kind of trees they have over here. And this could be our logging medieval town, our town for logging. Yep, that that sounds about good. So, we'll have a farming town, um, probably leading off from the other path, to be honest. Sounds good to me. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Also, we just ran out of gravel. That makes me sad. We need more gravel. I'm pretty sure, yes, there is some gravel down here. We'll grab just a tiny bit. I know we don't need that much more to finish up what we have going, so 
six pieces finish up this little pad and then we'll run up here and place them in six pieces should be definitely good we have one piece left over right there all right so that'll fix that pad and we could just start tearing out this pad right here we're also going to have to remember that we need path space and whatnot so all that stuff aside um, now let's talk about our next uh, topic for today, and that is what other kind of videos am I going to be putting out. I haven't put any other videos out recently besides Picks and Sticks since our last how to um, make a Minecraft plugin, and I really should make more of those. I should do something at least. And I'm really thinking about reviewing Minecraft plugins because right now I'm really into that plugin community, but I just don't want to... No, I, I, I am eventually going to be making more how-to plug-in program and whatnot. I really love programming, but I'm also in the plug-in community right now, and I'm seeing amazing plugins, and hardly any of them have videos, and the developers, they just don't have the time. They don't know. Most of them, I do not think have ever thought about doing YouTube and or don't do YouTube because if they did there would be way more um, tutorials on making plugins for Minecraft so we'll probably end up doing all that amazing stuff and then as well I'm I'm not sure what else we're going to be doing we might also have more plugin development but for now Tell me if you guys would like to see a series where we showcase Minecraft plugins. And if you would, I'm gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. It's gonna be a really fun thing to do for me. And get me to do something else related to the plugin community. I once again do love the people in the plugin community and wish I could help them more. Besides creating amazing plugins that I wish they were amazing. My ideas aren't always the best, and when I have good ideas, I usually fall short on them. Like, I, I just don't fully do them. And I know, I know, I'm really bad at it. I'll start working on something and then I won't. Although, my first plugin, not trying to, uh, like, full on, like, advertise it or anything, but <laughs> links down there in the description if you guys would like to check out that amazing plugin. I really like it. <laughs> I think I've done good for my first plugin. Um, like my first big plugin. And no, it doesn't cost money. I'm not into that money role just yet for the plugins. I need to get just a little bit better before I start charging money. And it's not that great of a plugin for money. Like, I shouldn't be asking for money for it. It is a really cool idea, and would love for you guys to go support me. Um, just head over there to the, uh, or head down to the description of the video, click that link, and go look at it if you guys are interested in Minecraft plugins at all, that is. If you're not, well then I guess this doesn't pertain to you at all. But, I think for now, that'll do it for these gravel pads. We don't have any more gravel, and I'm sort of out of food, so we gotta run back home. Although, chicken died. Woohoo, more food. I love doing that. Uh, I usually just eat like this, and or I eat cooked fish. I usually eat cooked fish, to be honest, but... Alright, so now... I do believe we shall just head right over to spawn and end off the episode. I do hope you guys had an amazing time watching, and next episode we're going to be talking about how you guys can become a member of Picks and Sticks if you guys would like to. If you guys are a YouTuber, you definitely just... I'll be talking about it next episode. Stay tuned for next episode. If you're not a YouTuber even and you want to join, just listen to the stuff. You don't have to be a YouTuber. You don't have to not be a YouTuber. We'd love for anyone to join as long as you're sort of a good builder and you're really, like good for the community we have 
I'm not gonna get into it anymore right now, actually. Next episode, next episode, we're gonna get on a rant about some of the people that have been on Picks and Sticks and weren't good for the community and other stuff like that. So stay tuned for next episode for all that stuff and how to join Picks and Sticks if you really want to. And as always, I hope you guys had an amazing time watching the video and hit the like button if you enjoyed. And as always, peace out.